February 25th. I went out to lunch with a friend of mine. He's um, he's German, but he's got a lot of family in Italy. And he mentioned the fact that his godfather was still in Lombardy and that his mother had just texted him to ask if he, if he could mail her some face masks. Because right now in Germany, at the time in Germany, disposable face masks were something like 75 euro a piece. It was the fact that his mother had never thought of these kinds of things before. I realised when I was in Sweden, because I was on the border there in Copenhagen when all the flights started cancelling, one after another on the board. And um, everywhere I went in Helensburg in Sweden, uh, everywhere was closed and the numbers were increasing every day. So that was... March, maybe the 10th or the 11th. Uh, and there was a command that the border was going to be shut and I had a few hours until that was going to happen. I got to the airport and all the flights were being cancelled one by one. And thankfully, my one to Manchester wasn't. So I managed to get out. I wasn't stranded for a month or however long it would be in Denmark. Um, yeah, for me, that's, that's when I realised how serious it was because, um, because, um, I don't know, I, I guess when it affects you, suddenly it hits home to you a little bit. Maybe that's a bit, that's a bit egotistical, but yeah. Yeah, that's when I found out, March 11th. Well, the shelves have been empty the last few weeks with having a new baby. I wanted to stock up on items in case I was unable to breastfeed. And um, I couldn't get a hold of formulas. I'm a new mum. I wanted to, things to be easy. I'm trying to work out how to be a mum with the added pressure of not knowing if I would be able to feed my child or having a screaming child and not having the ingredients to cook a simple meal. <laughs> There's no pasta and tomatoes anywhere and cooking a complicated meal is quite daunting. Oh, well, if you're in the government, get your hand out of your pocket and think about someone else. I think that's vital. In truth, though, love to anyone else, actually. Just, just stop being obsessed with yourself and help your community get through. Because... I think the only way we're going to get through something like this is to be reliant on each other and to help, help each other. For me, the deep thing about all of this is just check your soul. And uh, occasionally I dare to say that and people smirk and grimace and like, before, but actually, you know, check your soul. You know, we're the only planet in a universe, despite searching as best we can, that has any appreciable life. And um, is that an accident or is that a design? So my message to everyone is this is a spiritual exercise, this experience. And it doesn't matter if you know what COVID-19 is or you don't, because life is a spiritual endeavour.